A game of chess has three stages, the opening, the middle game, and the end game. In today's video, I'm going to explain the opening. Okay, so first of all, the opening is actually not that difficult. Um, this is where, this is the start of the game, of course, and um, this is where things can go wrong for you or for your opponent if your opponent doesn't know how to play the opening. So basically, or in a nutshell, you want to do three things. You want to occupy the center, you want to develop your knights and bishops, and you want to castle. In fact, you can narrow it down to the first thing or the, the thing you should do as quickly as possible right, up, right up in the opening is castling. So for instance, if you play something like g4, that's not occupying the center. Therefore, this is a bad move. If you play something like a4, this is not occupying the center either. This is also a bad move. So a good move would be pawn to d4 and pawn to e4, which are this, the two most popular moves in, in the chess game. So for instance, let's say you play pawn, pawn to e4 and your opponent plays pawn to e5. Is this a good move? Yes, it is, because it's occupying the center. Now, I said occupying the center. Step number two is normally developing your knights and bishops. It could be the bishop first. It could be the knight, as, as, as you please. Let's say knight to f3 attacking this pawn. Now black very commonly plays something like knight c6, de defending this pawn. And let's say you play bishop c4. All of these has like all of these moves have a logic. Chess is a logical game. So we're taking our, our, our knights and bishops out because now we've unlocked the third step. So let's say black plays knight f6. Um, let, let's say we, pop, we defend the pawn. We play bishop c5 and then you castle. Now you've completed everything you had to do in the opening. Let's say black castles as well. Both of you have completed the opening. This is now the middle game. Now, David, what happens if someone is not following the opening principles, which is what I'm explaining, like developing your knights and bishops, opening, uh, sorry, occupying the center and castling? What happens if that doesn't happen? Well, in this case, let's say you're playing with the black pieces just to make it fun. If white decides to play g4, which is the move that we criticized at the beginning, the black is going to play something like e5, occupying the center, pretty good move. And then let's say white just makes the worst move ever and, and makes everyone cry. Pawn to f3. Is this, is this occupying the center? You can argue that actually it is attacking. So, well, I guess it is kind of occupying the center on directly. But you don't want a pawn on f3. You want a knight on f3. You want a pawn on e4. Maybe you want a pawn on d4. But f3, this is the worst move in the, in the position. Okay, f4 is also equally good. But the reason why I'm explaining this is that if, you don't, if your opponent doesn't know what to do right at the beginning, you can already checkmate with queen h4. And because your opponent was doing absolute rubbish, then you, you just win the game immediately. And you can confirm this. I mean, I'm assuming you know the rules. A, B, C, avoid block capture for the king. The king cannot do any of them. So the king is, the king is, king is checkmated. Now, in order to prove that this is pretty easy and the opening is not as difficult as many people think, I'm going to play some games. So we're going to occupy the center, pawn to d4. The reason why I'm not playing with my main account is because then it would be too advanced and it would get out of the way. I'm going to play pawn to d5. This c5 is a, trying to attack my center, so I'm going to keep as much center as possible. Look at my pawns. My pawns are in the four... Well, two of my pawns were in the four central squares. Um, and I'm, keep, I'm going to keep developing my knights. I'm going to develop my knights like this. I'm going to play bishop b5 check. Now, this is a little bit of a trick because after knight bd7, that, that knight is pinned. And on top of that, I got a... I got out my bishop with check. So I would have played something like this, and black could have played that, but now I do it with a tempo. So black has to do something, and now I castle, so I'm quicker. And I'm gonna play rookie one. And now that I've castled, I've occupied the center, I've developed my knights and bishops, I've castled, I'm pretty much treating this position as the middle game. Now, I know this video is not about the middle game, but Okay, given that I'm playing a game now, I'm going to also commentate a little bit on the middle game, not as in-depth as the opening. Let's be real, it wasn't that deep, the opening. It's just, you just have to get practice with the opening. And it's, we might know what to do in theory, but when it comes to practice, it's it's more useful to, to, to look at these games. So I'm going to play rookie one check. My opponent blocked, which is what I, what I was expecting. I'm just going to finish development. Bishop f4. You should play with all your pieces. That's why they, they are there. It's very sad to see games where, my goodness, queen b8. There's, it's very sad to see games where your pieces are always in the, like, in the same position they started. So when, when you're packing up the pieces, you don't have to move some of them. For instance, the famous rooks. I mean, the rook on a1, if I were, were to lose the game now, I, wouldn't, I, didn't, I didn't even move that rook. It's pretty sad you want to move pieces. 
Now, queen b8 is a very passive move. I know, I understand what was going on. So bishop takes d6 is a big threat because this is pinned. But black could have castled and been happy. But instead, that was played. So now I'm going to punish that. See, when in the opening, you don't follow the principles. Black has done kind of two of them. Occupy kind of the center with c5 and d6. It's, it is attacking one of the four, a couple of the four central squares. Black has also developed knights and bishops, but black hasn't castled. So I'm going to play queen e2. Now I'm attacking e e7, not e6. E6 is a big blunder, but e7, and black is in trouble. All just like that. Black is in trouble. There, there's, yeah, black is in trouble. How many times do I have to say? Like, there's nothing black can do now. Queen d8 is probably the best move, but after bishop takes d6, it's it's all over. I'm gonna win this bishop, and once I I win material, there's nothing black can do. And many people get this wrong as well. Um, many people start thinking right, like very well right now, but instead of that, black should have started thinking from here, because once you get to this position, there's nothing you can do. If a, if a player with if the player with the white pieces, which in this case is me, uh, plays all the best moves, you're not going to you're not going to you're not going to come back. You can't. As much as you think it's easier for white to play now than if you had thought about this from this position. I think you get what what I'm trying to say. But queen e2. Now I'm putting pressure on this e7 bishop. I could have sacrificed, but there was not an interesting follow-up or a, or a logical follow-up. I could have played queen e2, but king f8, and the king is now into safety. And black has to do this, which is going against opening principles. Like, it is, instead of developing your pieces, it's undeveloping your pieces. It's, it's ugly. It's, it's horrible. It's depressing. Now this bishop could take on d7, and we can ruin black's castling rights. But I'm going for something else. I want more. I'm going to play 94. Knight take d6 is a big threat. Once again, we're pinning over here. So there's a pin. Sorry. There's a pin with my bishop. There's a pin because of the e-file. There's pressure on the d6 pawn. All my pieces are doing something. Okay. This knight on f3 is preventing this knight from coming to e5. But you can argue that this bishop was already doing that. So maybe this knight is not such such a hero, but it's still out. It's better than something like that, which is passive, defending the bishop, doing nothing. So now I'm going to take on d6. Um, I don't see how black stops that. One of the reasons why I know that is because I also train tactics all the time, so I, it's very easy for me to, to calculate this kind of variations. It's only two moves, right? So for instance, if black plays h6, which is a horrible move, we take on d6. This is pinned. And I can move on to the next variation. For instance, a6, we also take on d6. And black could take with the queen, but we take with the bishop. And then, once again, there's a lot of pressure on the e7 uh, bishop. We, we won the queen. Yeah, amazing. And black is burning clock, so... Yeah, things went already wrong. This is not the time to burn clock. This is the time to pretty much resign and go to the next game and, and manage your time better there. And as harsh as it sounds, of course, all of this is from a very constructive point of view. Um, this is good advice that black should take into account. And yeah. I wonder if my opponent is going to let the timer run. I guess. I guess that's going to be the case. That's what happens when you follow opening principles. Nah, my opponent is going to make a move in one of the last seconds. I bet. Okay, well. I'm embarrassed now. Good game, Anonymous. Um, see, so what happened is that I developed my knights and bishops. I occupied the center and I castled. My opponent was too slow. And when it came bishop to f4, only one mistake. Castles would have been fine, but only one mistake is, is enough for a chess game to go all, all downhill. Queen b8, horrible move. This queen is protecting a pawn. You don't want your queens to protect things. Even more so if it's a pawn. Queen e2 attacking this bishop, game over. There's nothing black can do. Knight e4, it's, it's coming. There's nothing you can do. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and have a nice day.